Hello and welcome back to Football Daily, where today we're profiling an 11 of Man United's most expensive signings of all time. All the fees in this breakdown were provided by Transfermarkt, so any issues, take it up with them. Let's get started. Goalkeeper, David De Gea. Signed for just 22.5 million, 12 million more than their previous goalkeeping record, Fabian Barthez, David De Gea has to go down as one of Man United's greatest ever signings. Arriving as a 20-year-old with just two years of senior football under his belt, the Madrid-born shotstopper struggled initially. In his first few months, United were thrust 6-1 by City and errors by De Gea against Blackburn saw him dropped for Lindegaard. But the 41 cap Spaniard has been almost ever-present since, missing just nine Premier League games across the last seven seasons. The blame for United's decline can't be laid at De Gea's door, with the Spaniard conceding 19 fewer goals than they should have, according to expected goals against, over the last four and a bit seasons. In 17-18, he had arguably the best ever season for a Premier League goalkeeper, helping Manchester United achieve a plus 15 for expected goals against. Two Champions League quarter-final appearances and four trophies may be all he has to show for his time at United, but there can be no doubt that he is in the reckoning for the best number one of the decade. Before we move on to our next player, make sure if you haven't already, you're subscribed to the channel and have hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Defender, Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Having spent £878 million since the start of the 14-15 season, £204 million more than Real Madrid in the same period, it's unsurprising that the majority of the Red Devils' most expensive signings are relatively recent. The second most recent is Aaron Wan-Bissaka, who swept to prominence after a phenomenal breakout season with Crystal Palace in 1819. Although the Croydon-born right-back made just seven appearances in 1718 during an injury crisis, the following campaign saw the former winger miss just three Premier League games. It's impressive in itself for a 21-year-old to feature regularly for a side that would finish 12th, just three points of ninth place Leicester. But it was his unrivaled defensive performances that made him stand out. Wambasaka averaged 6.1 tackles and interceptions and completed 129 tackles in total, the most in Europe's top five leagues. The three-cat England under-21 international has picked up where he left off at Old Trafford, averaging 6.4 tackles and interceptions across his 12 Premier League appearances. And whilst his 0.6 key passes and 1.3 dribbles will have to improve if he wants to become a Manchester United great, so far so good for somebody who only made their senior debut 21 months ago. Defender, Rio Ferdinand. In July 2002, Rio Ferdinand swapped Leeds for Manchester United, becoming Britain's most expensive player and the world's most expensive defender. In the process, he joined a side who had finished two places and 11 points ahead of his previous employers in the 2001-2 season. United were getting as close to a finished article as possible for a player. A 23-year-old defender with over 20 England caps, a PFA Team of the Year inclusion and 181 Premier League appearances to his name six more than Lindelof and Maguire put together at the time of recording. So it was therefore unsurprising that Ferdinand not only proved himself to be one of the best defenders in England, but in the world during his 12-year spell at United. He won the league in half of those years, was a bedrock of the league's best defence in a quarter, and reached three Champions League finals in four years. The pinnacle of his time at United, though, was without a doubt their 2007-8 Champions League triumph in which the Red Devils conceded six in their 13 games on the way to their third continental triumph. Defender, Harry Maguire. Baresi, Maldini, Moore, Nesta, Turam, Desai, Puyol, the list goes on. We have had some incredible centre-backs down the years, but none of them are the most expensive defender of all time. No, that honour lies with 26-year-old Sheffield-born Harry Maguire. To call Maguire's rise meteoric would be a massive understatement. After shining at League One side Sheffield United, where he was included in three consecutive Team of the Years, the 21-year-old defender joined Hull City for 2.5 million in July 2014. Despite suffering two relegations in three years, Leicester City had seen enough and signed him for 12 million pounds. Maguire would instantly shine for the Foxes missing just seven league games in two years and winning their play of the year in 1718. England recognition followed, Maguire rode a unicorn, scored some towering headers, helped the three Lions on their way to a World Cup semi-final and a national hero was born. Undoubtedly overpriced at £80 million by a desperate United, the 25 capped international has still made a difference, with only four sides conceding fewer than their 17 league goals at the time of writing and only Liverpool having a better record according to expected goals against. Defender, Luke Shaw. 
Until Luke Shaw's arrival at Old Trafford in June 2014, Gabriel Heinz's 9 million transfer from PSG in June 2004 was their most expensive outlay for a left back. And like Heinz, who won United's Player of the Year in 2004 5, Shaw's time in Manchester has largely been defined by injuries. Signed for just under 34 million, the second biggest fee for a left back in Premier League history beside Mendy, Shaw has missed 115 games over the last five and a bit seasons. Those setbacks, alongside some very public fallouts with Mourinho over his attitude, has meant the 24-year-old has played just 76 league games for the Red Devils and just 10 more than Lukaku managed in two years at Old Trafford. Come 18-19, though, he has finally seemed to be turning it around. Returning from pre-season having shed some pounds, he was almost ever-present under first Mourinho and then Solskjaer, making 40 appearances in all competitions and contributing five Premier League goals. But a thigh injury sustained in the third league game of the season has limited him to just 225 minutes of league action, meaning United have paid £460,000 per sure Premier League appearance. Midfielder Paul Pogba when Manchester United signed Paul Pogba, it was massive news. Here was the prodigal son who had spent four years in the academy before departing for Juventus, where he won six trophies, including four league titles, returning for a world record £89 million. His status as the world's most expensive player instantly made the Frenchman the most talked about and most scrutinised footballer in England. Despite missing 28 games through injury, when he has been available, Pogba has been ever-present, making 135 appearances across his first three seasons at the club. His importance at Old Trafford was shown during the 2018-19 campaign, where only De Gea topped his league minutes as he finished as top scorer and a sister. With Pogba having missed 12 games and counting with an ankle injury, United have struggled winning just four of their opening 14 league games their worst return at this stage since 1988-89. As speculation continues about his future, we wouldn't be surprised if these were Pogba's last six months at United. Midfielder Fred The 30th most expensive transfer in Premier League history, when Manchester United managed to bring Fred in for £53 million in June 2018, it was viewed as something of a success. The 26-year-old had not only won six trophies in five years at Shakhtar Donetsk and reached the Champions League last 16 and 17, 18, but he had been stolen from under the nose of Pep Guardiola. But his first campaign in the Northwest didn't go to plan. He only played just over a thousand minutes, with 14 playing more, and when he did feature, he was far from convincing. 3.9 tackles and interceptions and an 86 pass accuracy might sound solid, but he only completed 63% of his tackles, and his passes were often lateral or ineffective, with only one chance created per 90, 12th in the United squad. In fairness to Fred, he has seemed to have found some resemblance of form, featuring in 13 of United's last 15 matches in all competitions. If Frick can keep this going and push on, perhaps his transfer won't go down as a complete disaster. Midfielder Anthony Martial Anthony Martial has had some question marks hanging over him in the 1920 season. The 23-year-old Frenchman has struggled to kick on from his first season in England, in which he contributed 15 league goals in 31 league games in 15-16. 26 goals and 15 assists in 108 games in the following three seasons up to 2019-20 was a disappointing return for an explosive start. Rumours of a poor attitude, a fallout with Mourinho and the emergence of Rashford saw Martial almost become a forgotten man at Old Trafford. The fact that United were continuing to recruit attacking players including Ibrahimovic, Lukaku and Alexis Sanchez seemed to suggest the end could have been near for Martial at the 20 times champions. But the arrival of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was the turnaround the £54 million man needed. Now under a new manager that rates him, Martial has come back from a hamstring injury and is now currently averaging a goal contribution every 160 minutes in 1920. Midfielder Juan Mata The ninth most expensive signing in United history, the £40 million capture of Juan Mata from Chelsea in January 2014 edges out Henrik Mkhitaryan as the three-time European champion's most expensive number 10. Weakening a direct rival with the signing of a World Cup and Euros winner who had contributed 24 league goals the previous season, not to mention won a Champions League and a Europa League during his three years in London, the United faithful were jubilant. And it's fair to say the Real Madrid Academy member has more than repaid their faith with an average of 0.4 goal contributions per game in the league and Champions League and at least 22 appearances in all of his four full seasons. 
Whilst he might have never consistently replicated his Chelsea form, Mata has now played under four managers in a variety of positions. Best remembered for two goals against both Liverpool and City, Mata is a loyal servant during a period of great instability. Midfielder, Di Maria. United's fan base went into complete meltdown when Di Maria's £67 million move, a British record and the sixth highest in football history, was confirmed on the 26th of August 2014. Newly crowned European champions Real Madrid were foolishly happy to let the then 26-year-old leave after the arrival of Cruz and James Rodriguez. But it's fair to say the 102 capped Argentine's time in Manchester wasn't his happiest despite being productive. Often viewed as a flop on the pitch, the former Benfica flyer contributed 3 goals and 10 assists in 27 league games for the club. 3.3 shots and 2.8 key passes per 90, it's little surprise that his combined expected goals and assists per 90 was 0.56, a figure only topped by Falcao and RVP in the Red Devils squad. But unhappy with being shifted around the team and struggling to adapt to life in England after being burgled, Di Maria was sold to PSG for a £23 million loss after just 11 months. Now 31 and playing the best football of his career at PSG, United's hierarchy will surely regret this failed transfer. Forward, Romelu Lukaku Di Maria isn't the only player shining this season having left Old Trafford. Romelu Lukaku has been an absolute revelation since joining into Milan in a £74 million deal, scoring 22 goals in 25 games for club and country this term. But there can be little doubt he struggled in 18-19. After top scoring with 27 goals in all competitions in the previous season, his third consecutive year of 25 plus goals, he could only muster 15 in 45 appearances last campaign, as Solskjaer increasingly favoured more mobile forwards. That's not to say this was a complete disaster. His 42 goals across two years was 25 more than Martial managed and double Rashford's return in the same period. Whilst his two goals against PSG in March 2019 saw the club through to their first Champions League quarterfinal in four years. With only Immobile having scored more than his 10 Serie A goals at the time of writing and United having scored the same as Villa so far, the decision to let him go has to go down as another miss by United's hierarchy. So that's it for Man United's most expensive 11. Is there any other teams we should cover? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe, like the video and comment, and we'll see you next time.